Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying an MRE. This is a menu A number nine, mm -hmm. and it is? Beef stew. Beef stew. So I'm gonna so, fight with Heaven to eat it while she talks about working Heaven to eat it. I'm trying to open it. <laughs> um, we bought these from, oh, these MREs from Ozark Outdoors uh, on Amazon, and I will have a link in the description below. You can buy menu A, menu B, um, or you can buy them together. We chose to buy them together so that we could try them all for you. Uh, each menu has 12, 12 um, different main meals. And uh, so we wanted to try all 24 meals. So beef stew sounds interesting. Do you want the scissors? We are gonna be using scissors. This one's kind of weird, so it's right here. Since we are opening the bag for the first time, there's no way for me to get proper pictures for you all of the nutritional information. Some people probably could care less about the pictures at the end, but... But some people do. Some people do. Some people <laughs> want to know, what is the government feeding these boys? And uh, so... Here, I'll let you go through them, because, I mean, I've got my glasses, but... So I like to have pictures for you at the end. This is the beef stew. Mm -hmm. This I is feel little chunks in there. Multi-grain snack bread. Uh -huh. This is hot sauce. Yeah, we probably won't use that because it's usually extra hot sauce. This is a grape beverage powder. This whole thing is just for powder. Grape jelly. Pretzels. A spoon. MRE trans fat free spice pound cake. Sounds good. Peanut butter. You have to need the peanut butter, so. This is a uh, accessory pack. This is your heat thing. This is a beverage for your, to heat up your coffee. They must have given us some coffee in our accessory pack. Usually that's what it's. Uh, What's in an MRE? I don't think I've ever seen that. No. What's in an MRE? Each MRE provides an average of 1,250 kilo calories. The percent of calories from protein is 13%, fat is 35%, carbohydrates 52%. Hmm. So about 1,200, 1200 calories. 1,250 calories. Uh, this, uh, we'll talk about the beef stew, uh, the calories. When yeah, we one get second, to sorry. It. Okay, this is your. It's um, the only thing that needs to be heated. Yeah, this is your uh, ready to eat heater. This is your chemical heater. Um, so you don't have to have a pan or anything like that. And sometimes they're hard to open. I told Tammy earlier, I said, I just don't think I have any grip strength in my fingers anymore. I think when you are, uh, when you're used to camping and being out in the rough or you're in the military, I think you're just used to doing all this stuff. Well, and you got better strength in your yeah, fingers. Yeah, I think you're pinch. used to using your hands for uh, a lot more labor intensive things than we Definitely. do here. Because I about the only uh, grip that I do is on my mouse on the computer. Well, I was thinking of weed eating. <laughs> weed eating, yeah. Holding the lawnmower. Yeah. Because I know your hands get tired after weed eating. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I got that in the pouch and then hand me the water. We have a bottle of water we're going to use. And it has a, two lines at the bottom. You want to make sure that you don't go over or under. You're just trying to get it in between mm -hmm. the two lines. And it doesn't take much it doesn't at take all. Hardly any water at all, just a splash. There you go. Yeah, slide these down in there. Fold it over the opposite side of your um, heat pack and then. You want to lay it flat to really get the heat, the water all over the heat pack. And I'll need this. And you want to kind of let, wait until you can feel some heat. It takes about 30 seconds for it to get all wet and start. You just got to open the spoon. My brown spoon. And then I'm going to open the accessory pack next because I want to see if we got coffee. Okay. It's starting to heat up. So now you have to put it in the sleeve. It gets really hot, really fast. Mm. 
and I'm gonna, you're supposed to prop this up on a rock. Here's our rock. And we're just gonna, gonna prop it up. And that heat pack got, I mean, that got hotter probably than the past two we've had. Oh, really? Really hot. So, oh, well, good. Okay. Okay, in the accessory pack, you get toilet paper and a moist towelette. You get uh, sugar and matches, salt, coffee, we're gonna make the coffee, and creamer. So, and gum. So we're gonna make the coffee you need of six ounces, and it's marked on here. It's marked on the hot bag, so if you use the hot bag, you can kind of... You won't see a picture of the packet of coffee at the end just because um, it does not have anything um, there's it's just coffee so but you will see the cream uh, packet information start working on it and the creamer give me the sugar next sugar well here it is it, the sugar it literally says sugar this is not Splenda it's sugar uh, sometimes they do give us Splenda uh, but it doesn't have anything written on it there's no calories or anything so you won't see That's a picture surprising. of that at the end either I know because you know it, it uh, has something so just the creamer we need to keep yeah. and I what I found is if you kind of work the creamer in there slowly while you're stirring um, it stirs up a lot better because this is cold uh, or room temperature water. Um, this is your uh, grape powder. Take a picture of that. Yeah, I'm gonna take a picture of that. This is your grape powder, and I'm glad they gave us grape powder and grape jelly because I like grape. Grape is my uh, my favorite flavor, jelly. Okay. Normally you wouldn't have this much trouble getting this out, but the way that I had to cut it, normally I would have cut it in half. Yeah, but I had, I, had, it's such a huge bag. I had to, I don't know, I had to cut it so that, um, I'll use a different spoon to stir this up, not the coffee. <laughs> had to cut it so you all could see the calories. You try so the coffee? you use, uh, you're going to use a canteen normally to measure out your water uh, and it has measurements on it, I guess. We use just a bottle of water. So the coffee, the coffee, um, Tammy said it before, it kind of tastes like a, a Kind of a cheap hotel coffee <laughs> or out of a machine or something. I've had coffee like that on yeah, vacation. It's not bad. It's not I'm bad telling coffee. you, on vacation, that's the kind of coffee you drink. Okay. You do what you have to do. Are you not going to try the coffee? Mm -hmm. Oh, you already did. Okay. But in case you haven't watched the MRE videos that are have been previously put up we want to always try even though we've tried it before we want to try it yeah. again in case you're coming in on mill number nine yeah maybe you're only watching this one the uh, that does not taste like grape at all well i won't say that it reminds you of grape but it doesn't taste like grape no after you've swallowed it and you're kind of like the flavor settle in your in your mouth it kind of tastes like grape too I love the color though. Yeah, you might need that. I mean, the color of that reminds you like of these bar scenes in Star Wars or something, <laughs> doesn't it? Or a fancy, fancy drink on only full. That's what I think of in Star Wars. Yeah. And what did you say? Only fools? Yeah, those fancy drinks that Oh, the Del Boy drinks. <laughs> okay, these are the pretzels. They are 110 calories, and they're literally pretzels. Oh, pretzel sticks. Just pretzel sticks. Mm -hmm. Just a pretzel. You give me some to snack on them. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and you have peanut butter, so you could dip it in your peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But what we do, this is multi-grain snack bread. And- it's Like a really thick, soft cracker. So what we have done previously, this is 190 calories. 
for the bread is uh, we take our uh, peanut butter and you knead it, which we have, and we put it on the bread. It is for the entire pouch is 250 calories for the peanut butter, which um, I don't think is bad. 250 because it's regular peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Really creamy, creamy peanut butter. And I'm gonna put the entire pack out here just so you can see how much you get. Yeah, it fills that bread pretty good. You can it go does. ahead and spread it if you want. Go ahead, use your package. It gets all over it. But... No, I won't use the package. I use it's a pretzel. There I you. use a pretzel. Yeah. And you spread it with your pretzel. That makes a good utensil. Yeah, because you got coffee all over your spoon, you know. Probably you probably just Yeah, you're gonna eat with that. Lick it clean or you're gonna eat that uh what are we having? Beef stew. Beef stew. I was gonna say roast beef. Normally you would just there we go. stir your coffee up and then, then lick it clean. Now get the grape jelly. Mmm. That's good on that pretzel though. And how many calories was that? You'll have to tell me. I will once this works this out. Well so far, this smells good. Yeah, they mix quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of jelly there. It is 70 calories. Getting ready to run off the side here. Mmm, very good. That's a very, very good sandwich. That must be... <laughs> you want to towel up? No, I'm just going to be a piece of paper. That Let me must... see what the toilet paper looks like. That must be the only uh, bread that, well, that's the only bread we've seen in these mills so far. Um, yeah, this is the toilet paper. This, um, yeah, and you get like four sheets of that. I'll keep it just in case I need to wipe That's what you get to wipe your nether regions. <laughs> Not much. Okay, lastly, we have, or lastly, before the main meal, we're going to let that heat up. Normally, you would save this for last. This is the Spice Pound Cake. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, we have not had this. And it is, it says, that one wow. container, okay, 260 calories. It smells good. Yeah. Got a good spicy uh, smell to it. No, that's mm. different than what I would have expected. Don't eat that. Yeah, it's just a, hmm. it looks like a loaf that you would make yourself. Go ahead. I'd say it's a little mm. dense. That's good. Mm. That's really good. I wonder if that company, like, makes any other cakes. I don't know, but that is really good. That is delicious. Yes, that is a delicious spice cake. It makes me wonder if, like, this is like a, like a brand, like, let, for example, like Little Debbie. And do they make, do they have a line that goes for MREs? And do they have a line that goes in boxes, you know? No, I, am, I don't know. Because that's good. I mean. It says they're made by this company, the so, so Patco. Well, I think people, the public would buy those. I oh, think they're very good. They're very good. Okay. Now we'll try beef stew. So you take it out of your pouch. It's still really hot. Like I said, this is probably one of the hottest ones I've ever had. We're, used, we're gonna put it in a bowl because I want to take a picture for you all and I want you to be able to see what you get. And we do get hot sauce. So I might try a little bit of hot sauce. Here, you went, uh, you're just gonna go for it. Did you tell how many calories was in it? Uh, What's bad about this one is it gets wet. I feel like too, did I, see, did I tell the calories on the bread? Yeah, 260 calories on the bread. But if you've ever had a, a spice cake, I mean, that's what that tastes like. It tastes um, uh, just like that. Very, very good. Okay. Let me get my coffee spoon. Uh, this is the beef stew. Uh, seasoned diced cooked beef, carrots, green peas, okay. 
Uh, one pouch is 240 calories. It smells good. It smells like a denty mole or something. Yeah, I'm not sure how hot it got, but we'll see. I blow on it like it's gonna be steaming hot. Yeah, I'm not blowing <laughs> on it at all. I'm trying to get a carrot. I think it's just habit. Mmm. That's good. It's mm -hmm. um it got pretty hot. I mean it's 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 lukewarm at least. It's hotter than Yeah, it's it lukewarm. Been. That's good. Mm -hmm. Which surprises me you like the potatoes in those. That's because they're mixed in. The they're potatoes. chunky potatoes. I'm going to try this hot sauce. Well, remember, it's extra hot hot sauce. How do you know it's extra hot? Because it's always extra hot hot sauce. How do you know it's not just... just I, was exactly, I would just cut the corner, but it's uh, okay. Too late now. <laughs> well, well. It's probably good with hot sauce. I'm not going to try with hot sauce, but it's probably really good. Kevin. I like it just the way. I like it just the way it was. I like so. it the way it was too, and normally I wouldn't add hot sauce, but I'm doing it for you so that I can tell you how it yeah. tastes. Yeah, how water got underneath the tablecloth, I'll never know. Mm -mm. It's a little warm. It's extra hot. <laughs> Don't get lost. I'm amazed, you know, they used to give you, I guess maybe they lost, maybe they don't do the contract with them. They used to give you little bottles of Tabasco Tabasco, sauce. yeah. So I'm wondering if they just don't do that anymore. They just give you packages of hot sauce like this. Although these could be made by. It's, it, it, it really is extra hot. Yeah. If you look at the description on the menus that you have online, it says extra hot. hot. So if you uh, like uh, medium or uh, even hot, then this is extra hot. Yeah. I'm just letting you know. If you put a little bit in it and stirred it up, it's mm -hmm. probably good. Yeah, I actually poured it on there and then took a bite from it right where I poured right. it. So I got the full effect of it. So I, let's try the gum. It's not bad. It's actually a good flavor. So you get two pieces of gum. And it's in the good breath brush mm -hmm. So far in these red packets, it's always been cinnamon. Mm -hmm. We haven't got anything but cinnamon. And I love it. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. Okay. So we rate these meals from one to five. Five being the very best. We would eat it all the time. One being you're never going to want it again. And we rate the entire meal. We had coffee, grape juice, spice cake, peanut butter, jelly, bread, pretzels, uh, pretzels, the denty more, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the beef stew, <laughs> sorry, hot sauce, uh, what would you give it? I know. You ready? Yeah. A five. Five. Yeah. yeah. This is definitely one to keep. Mm-hmm. We yeah. have any issues at all eating this. Over and over again. Yeah. No. Yeah, this, no. Is, this is one you could, I mean, you get sick of it after a while, but it would take you a while. At least it would be good food while you were getting it. And, food. Even though we said the beef stew was lukewarm, you're going to take time to eat the entire peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And you're going to take time to eat your um, dessert if you plan on... I would go ahead and eat it just because I would want that to have time to heat up as long as possible. As possible. Um, but by the time, and you eat your pretzels, by the time you've eaten all this other stuff, that's going to be even hotter than what we got it. Right. So, yeah, I definitely think it deserves a five. I thought it was yep, a good amount. Yeah, really good. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, if you've had this MRE before and you like it too, you can let us know in the comments below. I'll have a picture for you at the end, and thanks for watching.